Proof. If f of x is equal to x to the n, then f prime of x, or the derivative of x, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. So if we want to apply the n, this is going to be now the limit as h approaches 0 of x plus h to the n minus x to the n over h. Now, in finding the derivative of x to the fourth, we had to expand x plus h to the fourth. So here, we need to expand x plus h to the nth power, and we use the binomial theorem to do so. So f prime of x, which is equal to the limit as h approaches 0, x plus h to the nth power becomes x to the n plus n times x to the n minus 1 h plus n times n minus 1 over 2 x to the power of n minus 2 h squared plus n x h to the n minus 1 plus h to the power of n. And that's minus x to the n. Okay, now what happens here is if we take a look at this previous step, okay, we can eliminate this x to the n and this minus x to the n because that becomes zero. And then what's left over is nx to the n minus 1h plus n times n minus 1 over 2 times x to the n minus 2h squared plus nxh to the n minus 1 plus h to the power of n over h. Okay, so now we can then factor out an h. So if we factor out an h, so if we factor out an h here, we have an h left over here, and then this becomes h to the n minus 2, and then this becomes h to the n minus 1. Okay, if we factor out an h, then this h divided by this h then leaves us with the following. We have the limit as h approaches 0 of n to the n times x to the n minus 1 plus n times n minus 1 over 2 times x to the n minus 2h plus n, h, n times x h to the n minus 2 plus h to the n minus 1. And now we can apply h approaching 0. So that means that this h makes everything zero here. This h also makes everything zero here, and this h makes everything zero here. So basically, the only thing that's left over is the value of n times x to the power of n minus one, because every term except the first has h has a factor and therefore approaches zero. So this gives us the power rule. If n is a positive integer, then the derivative with respect to x of x to the n power is equal to n times x to the power of n minus 1.